you start selecting a boat, you need to think about a lot of things. Some of them you don't want to think about is the guy down the street's got a 26 foot so and so, and I want to up him until I get a 28 foot so and so. Or I've got this nice red pick em up truck, so the boy I'm going to buy is going to be red. Or my buddy down next door, want to go fishing. We're friends forever. We're going to be fishing part of the rest of our lives. And all of a sudden, can you buy a boat that that will work for? All of a sudden, he dies or he moves away, and that plan's gone. One of the first things they talk about is a thing called a bass boat. We don't have any bass boats now. Many get down here. And there's a good reason for it. But you go up the Savannah River to Hinesville, there are a bunch of bass boats on Savannah River to Hinesville. They're good for fast moving in the lakes. Fast moving to a fishing area, fish, fast moving back. They're not good for the waves and the wakes and the rough weather that we have around here. Inflatables, if you're around here for the Olympics, there were jillions of inflatable boats around here. Every country team for the yachting menu here had two or three inflatables. The Coast Guard had inflatables. Everybody here had inflatables. So they were perfect where they were working out there in the Washington Sound. If you have a fiberglass hull and inflatable uh, surrounding, that's called a rigid hull inflatable. Advantages of that. Pontoon boats, we don't see too many of those around here for a couple reasons. The pontoon boat we're talking about here is a the one with the tube, the older style of the tube. A couple reasons. First of all, they don't take rough weather very well at all. They're great, they're great to go up in the creek, shrimp, crab, spend the night, but they don't take rough water very well at all. And secondly, those tubes are normally made of aluminum. And then we have electrolysis problem in the salt water down there. Houseboats. Anybody ever been to Lake Lanier? Ever see the houseboats there? 90 to 120 feet long, three decks high. Everything you want in them, and then if that's not enough, and most of these is you can rent a plot about that big in front of where you tie your boat up and dock your boat, about ten thousand a year, so you can have your cocktail parties there. You want to go boat, a little patio, a couple of patios. 